What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much more. Hold on, let me close this door over here for my dog comes in and bothers me. I love her, but damn, she likes to bother me in the middle of my podcast well, at, when I'm always working. Um, I'm going to react to a video of it's titled, Even Hollywood is Shocked by What This Actress Tells Disney, but it's a video about uh, Raven Simone, I guess, calling out Disney. And before we do that, let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. Are you a musician looking for music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, yep. YouTube video promotion, yep. record pool promotion, yep. blog placements, yep. radio airplay promotion, yep. SoundCloud promotion, and yep. much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. You heard a beautiful lady in the online market promotions. Check us out, promopiles.biz. And I actually need to get a new commercial made up because we actually do uh, TikTok and Instagram influencers um, as well now. And I don't think we were when we came out with that video because TikTok wasn't really, really super heavy. Instagram Reels wasn't really popping. Now you got YouTube Shorts, you know, uh, Facebook Reels, all that good stuff because – it's all about the shorter, shorter content, apparently. Um, so let's get into it. And I think this is the RTK um, Outpost podcast, if I'm not mistaken, which um, he does a lot of gamer content and stuff like that, a lot of movie content, Hollywood content. And I agree with a lot of what he has to say. Of course, I don't react to people... Typically, I disagree with across the board. So let's get into it. It's completely shocked by this epic response coming from this actress who puts her foot down on Disney when they tried to get her to engage in their woke ideology that they are going to be forcing onto children. And she says, no, I'm not going to have any part of that whatsoever. This is absolutely fantastic. So let's get into this and see what she says here. And of course, we know that there's this weird mentality that is starting to really. And I was wrong. It's not RTK. Uh, it's uh, Josiah Rises. But his podcast is pretty much like the RTK, their layouts and everything. And they go over a lot of the same content as well. But let's get into what he has to say. We formulate more and more when it comes to the wokesters and everything else where they want actors and their characters to be exactly the same when it comes to She's their identities really and uh, it's a, it puts especially a lot of characters and actors in a very awkward place when it comes to you know characters like serial killers you know and and robbers bank robbers whatever else you know so it, it it's very very weird but this actor actress knows that that is nonsensical and she has no interest in engaging in that whatsoever whatsoever lgbtq Disney star reveals why she didn't want her character to be gay on her show. Disney star Raven Simone may identify as a member of the alphabet community, but that doesn't mean alphabet she community. wanted her character to reflect that in her show, Raven's Home. The 36 year old former child star is best known for starring in the series That's So Raven, which aired on Disney Channel from 2003 until 2007. When Raven Simone, who says she's non binary and is married to another woman, was approached to be a part of a reboot, she said producers suggested her character should could also be gay because why not you know why not just continue yeah. to just you know slap that into every children's show and and movie that's out there disney just can't help themselves <laughs> i think disney wanted her to be queer in the beginning and i just didn't feel comfortable doing that she told the magazine in an interview them in an interview she continued they were like do you want raven to be gay which i can just see the disney executives just <laughs> gleefully rubbing their hands at the idea of just this very very easy road to pave for uh woke uh ideology in this film I said, why? And they said, because you are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so cringe. Uh, Raven responded and said, bad, bad reason. That's a bad reason. No. 
Yeah, hold on. It is a bad reason. I mean, just because she's gay, she's an actor, or actress, however, whatever the politically correct term is. Uh, she's supposed to act like things that she's not. That's that's like you know one of the big things about being an actor is acting things that you aren't really in life. You know, we know like Denzel wasn't a kingpin drug dealer. You know, but he did a damn good job in American Gangster doing it. You know, we know he was never a crooky cop, but he sure as hell damn, you know, won an award doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing about acting. You're supposed to act like things that you aren't really aren't, you know. Raven Baxter never exhibited any type of sexual identity situation in the priors. I'm not bring, being myself on this show. I'm being exactly. a character. And that is trying to act. an incredibly important line that a lot of actors need to uh, need to learn. And a lot of people need, need to remember when it comes to actors and the characters that they are playing. I'm not being myself on this show. I'm being a, a character. character. Exactly. That is all we want you to be. Nothing else. <laughs> Raven's home follows the titular character as she raises her two children following a divorce. Simone shuts down any notion of a romantic relationship between Raven and her best friend, Chelsea, who helps with the kids and live in the same house. Raven Baxter's not gay. No matter what the first four seasons looked like with me and Chelsea sleeping in the same room and us raising a family together, that's not the case. We are friends who sleep in the same room. She doesn't think Raven should be dating at all. Uh, the former child star previously expressed surprise that Disney would hire her even though she's openly a member of the Alphabet community. I'm not sure why she'd be surprised by that because that's literally that's literally like Disney's yeah, like, no, entire right. thing. So uh, so anyway, so I do appreciate that. I do appreciate the fact that she does not did not want her character to be uh, you know changed just because of her personal identity and everything else that is something that is very shocking that we do not see happening at all these days so it's very cool to see let me know what you think about this in the comments below what she says here in this interview i can only imagine the the the, the how many jaws were dropped when she said this all right so she's gay and non-binary and she's saying hey you ain't gotta push an agenda you know what i'm saying I'm an actor, actress. I'm playing a character. I'm not acting out myself. Anybody can act their self in a damn movie. That doesn't take no damn skill. I mean, damn, if we're acting ourselves in a movie, shit, where, I need a role. Give me a movie role because I can act myself. Nobody can act me better than me. Get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, she says she's non-binary and gay. She doesn't want to push the agenda. But everybody else, that's the thing. These people in Hollywood want to try to push the agenda for her. And As far as the non-binary thing goes, she's confused on that because there's only binary, male and female. Um, non-binary is made up, imaginary, make-believe, fairy tale, bullshit. It's complete horseshit. Um you know, it's it's you living in your little fucking fairy tale bubble so you can feel good. But I, I mean I agree with her. Like, you know, she's acting a character. Why does her character so every gay person has to act gay roles in movies only? They can only act gay roles in movies. You know, because I mean then there's a lot of straight people that have been doing gay roles in movies. You know, and there's a lot of gay people doing gay roles too. You know, so it's like, so straight people can act gay, but gay people can't act straight. I'm a little confused. I don't know. But uh, that's what it seems like. Straight can act gay, but gay can't act straight when you say that. Like, because you're telling her, you, you she, since she's gay, you want her to be character to be gay. You know, and even if she is going by her real name, as the character in the show, it's a show. It's scripted, you know, but that's Hollywood for you. They want to force feed this shit down your throats. You know, they want to tell you if you don't like gay movies or transgender movies or, you know, these um, race baiting movies or these feminist movies that are designed on hating men, that you know you're a 
racist, bigot, transgender, homophobe. So, you know, they want to try to shame you into liking these movies. You can't shame me into liking a movie. If you want me to like a movie, then put out a good movie like John Wick 1 and 2. And I'm pretty sure, or 3 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the new one is going to be off the chisane. But um, yeah, you want to put out a, a good ass movie, then um, put out a movie like John Wick with a crazy ass action you ain't never seen. And John Wick is, was a very inclusive movie. Spe I mean, especially the last one. They had he had Asian dudes hunting his ass down, about to kill him. You know, they had a lot of inclusion in John Wick. You had women. He was fighting women and and sumo wrestlers and Asians and Russians and everybody. Black dudes, whatever. It didn't matter. Everybody was trying to kill John Wick. <laughs> All right. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast. And I'm out.